What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norn Red 89 here. Let me fix this camera right here. You like this shirt? It's a sweet shirt right here. See this? From Fright Rags. I'm loving this shirt. It's a beautiful shirt. I love it. So, as you can tell by the thumbnail, let me calm down for a second. We are here to talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 versus Scream, a.k.a. Five Cream. Which one is better? I know a lot of people are siding with Scream. They're like, easy, oh, it's five cream. Easy, easy, Scream. But I'm like, it's a lot closer than you all think. I'm telling you, it's a lot closer than you all think. Today, we're going to dive deep down into it with a little bit of categories that I have sectioned off. And then we're going to kind of mark which one, which one takes it. And we'll see by the end of this video which one is the best of the new kind of horror ones that came out this year so far. Right off the bat, let's get it started off real quick, man. Oh, man. Five Cream, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. I had a blast with both of them. I have reviews for both of these movies on my channel, so you can breeze back on my channel, my previous like playlists and stuff like that, and you can check out some of my rad movie reviews to get my, my thoughts more in depth. And, of course, we're going to be talking some spoilers today. So if you haven't seen the films, I highly suggest you run out and watch both of them because, like I said, I gave them both positive reviews and then come back and check out this video. First, let's talk about the story. One definitely has a more basic story. It's definitely more B-level kind of slasher story. And another one has a more connective, more deep story. And of course, when it talk when you talk about Scream being the fact that it is the fifth film in a franchise and it's continuing that timeline of being the fifth film, it does have a lot more stakes in terms of story stuff. When it comes to Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022, this is a requel, so it's not as much stakes. There's not as much investment when it comes to us as audience members with these characters. Even with Sally's character returning in this film as a legacy character, it doesn't really hold the candle to scream in terms of story. And like I said, our investment with the story and all that kind of stuff, and being the fact that most of the characters are attached to legacy characters from Scream, the original film, that's what kind of makes Five Cream the story. It does plot-wise. It does trump for me. That So Scream is going to be the check. This is going to win for that one in terms of story. Next up, we have Kills. And this one, oh man, for gore and kills, I think for easy, for sure, it's a story. You can easily say that's Scream. That's a Scream one for sure. That's a category. But when it comes to kills... It's definitely going to be Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022, baby. And if you've seen both of these films, you know for sure. That's definitely your gore hound movie. Even though there's some special effects like CGI work in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the way it's lit, the way it's hidden inside of the realistic practical effects make it a, a, so much sweeter. And like I said, in terms of kills and gore, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is going to take this victory for this round. So, like, as you can see, we're already at a tie right here. You know, Scream with the story, but Texas Chainsaw Massacre with the gore. So, it's like, where are we, where are we leaning? We're going to keep going. Let's go on to the next category. Next up with the next category, we have characters. And a lot of people easily are going to side with Scream on this one in terms of characters. But I don't think the characters in Texas Chainsaw Massacre are necessarily that bad. There are a lot of characters that are there just to be slaughtered. But I think our main duo of the sisters is actually really cool. Richter, that gas station guy who ends up being the dude who helps them. He's like the guy with, you know, the gun and stuff. And he's gun pro and all this kind of stuff. Like the, the hot dude. He's really hot. But that guy, like I said, those characters are really likable inside of this film. But I still think just those three characters aren't going to hold a candle to all the characters that are in Scream 5 because they have a laundry list of characters that we are all uh, deeply more attached to than the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 film. So Scream, I think, is going to take the check and the victory for this round for it being the characters. Next up, we have the killer performance, and this is another one that is very, very close. I was like, oh man, this is going to be the deciding factor. I had four categories at first. But it ended up being a tie. So I was like, damn, I needed to add a fifth category. I ended up adding a fifth category just to see, you know, which one would be the winner. And in terms of killer performance, it's really close because the ghost face in this one, the dialogue, the way the ghost face is, the some of the calls that he has and sequences that he has in this film are some of the best. Even the call with Judy, the beginning call with Jenna Ortega's character. Like, oh man, there's just a lot of stuff. And, of course, Ghostface ends up killing Dewey in this film. So, like, just that scene, it's a very emotional, powerful scene. 
but that Leatherface performance by Mark Burnham is pretty badass as well. Like, he gets to do a lot of cool stuff. He's a lot smarter than the previous versions of Leatherface, so there's a lot to offer with both of these killer ones. And the killer performance, I might come back to that one. We might have to come back to that one because I'm still a little undecided with that one. So let's move on to actually the cinematography and the way the film looked. And I think for cinematography wise, we're going to have to give it up to Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. And because of this reason, I'm going to tell you right now, the landscape, the way it looks, even though this film was shot in Bulgaria, it was shot overseas, the landscapes, the way it looks, the colorization, the shots, there are a lot more poster worthy shots in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022, and I'm really telling you. And I think Scream 5 is one of the best shot Scream films that we've ever seen. But Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022, man, oh my god. David Blue, I think his director's name, David Blue Garcia, him and the cinematographer, they did such a great job in making this film look so beautiful. And like I said, I urge you guys to check this out on Netflix. Cinematography, I'm going to hand it to Texas Chainsaw. Now back to the killer performance. As I said, we were going to dive back into this one. And I'm still, I'm still a little undecided with this one. Of course, you can tell by my shirt, I might be siding with maybe Texas Chainsaw. You know what I mean? But I, I, this was just my new shirt. I had to wear this one. But like I said, both killer performances, when you really dive in deep and you look at the films... It's so close because the leather face is such a good, gory, smart leather face. He's very vicious. The ghost face is hardcore in this one. It has some really good lines. But to add into that, you have to add in Jack Quaid's acting at the end of the film and uh, um, Amber, the character of Amber, her acting at the end of the film too. I believe Richie was his name. You have to add in them as the killers too at the end of the film. And sometimes that third act, when I watch Scream, I've watched it twice now, when I watch that third act, it does fall apart a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm like, when it comes to the killer performances, I'm like, damn, dude, like it, it's so close. Because when I did my ratings, I put Scream at an eight and I put Texas Chainsaw Massacre at a 7.5. So they are a hair that that the difference between them is a hair. But in terms of killer performance. To be honest, I think I'm going to have to go with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, man. I really am. And if you go by the categories that I have in this video that I've gone through right now, that's Texas Chainsaw Massacre being better in terms of categories, giving it the win in terms of that, better than Five Cream. But the reason I think people are siding with Five Cream and that I even do me, I think I put Scream above Texas Chainsaw Massacre as well is because the story, you're so invested in these characters by this fifth film and you're not really as connected, like I said, to the characters in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, even though there are some amazing characters like shout out to Sarah Yarkin. I'm sorry if I butchered that last name, but she was an amazing character. She plays the older sister in Texas Chainsaw Massacre and I thought she was amazing. I've watched that film three times now and I think she's a blast. Like she was easily probably my favorite character besides Richter in the film and Leatherface, of course. But I think Scream, just because of how powerful that story was, it's getting the edge and because fans are connected to it. But in terms of a slasher film, in terms of a horror film, I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre might have the edge. So, as you can tell by this video, it's it's very close. Like I said, I barely kind of gave the edge to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. In terms of our categories, but me being a fan of both of them, I really do like both of these films. I might give a slight edge to Scream above Texas Chainsaw Massacre in terms of story and the connectivity and our love for those characters. But let me know in the comments section what you all thought. Is it Texas Chainsaw Massacre or is it Five Cream? Which one is your favorite? Which one you think is better? And do you think it's as close as I do? I really do think it's a close fight and these two films are great. Definitely worthy, you know what I mean? They're gonna get a lot of rewatches from me for sure. Like I said, hit me up in the comments section. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.